Hey guys, it's Ali here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ali Hoth and I am here to show you the behind the scenes of my breeding program. Today's video is going to be about, well, the breeding process and the first step. Let's just get into it. With breeding and making puppies, it's more than just putting two dogs together. So I really wanted to show you the behind the scenes of that and show you the whole process. So before this point, I have researched multiple different studs near me. I really like to do live cover versus AI if I can. Um, and I looked into multiple different studs and the one that really stuck out to me is milo from bountiful doodles and he is a beautiful intense red stud that carries um the minus minus for coat if you're familiar with that so he has more of a straighter coat but he doesn't shed so he has that really awesome teddy bear look um i can put a picture right here and um so you can see that but he is just beautiful. He's 20 pounds, so he's a little bit smaller than Hazel, but they're around the same height. Okay, so the first thing that happens is that your female comes into heat. So how do you know that your female comes into heat is that she starts bleeding. Um, with that, like us humans, we have our menstrual cycle, so do dogs. But theirs happens every six months. But even though they're bleeding, they don't really shed the line of their uterus like we do. So their periods is a little bit different. So that's kind of the first sign of knowing that your dog's in heat. And once your dog's in heat, that's when you want to start progesterone testing. So progesterone is actually the hormone that, um, the, it's the pregnancy hormone for dogs. So the progesterone rises when they ovulate and throughout pregnancy, progesterone stays pretty, pretty even and higher than normal. Um, and to get that perfect time of ovulation, you have that, you know, that progesterone test and you want to time it just right because you want to um, go take her to get bred as soon as she ovulates because then the sperm have a better chance of reaching the egg and fertilizing the eggs and you've got the nice good sperm. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the first step is progesterone testing and then once she reaches the levels that she's at, then we'll take her to the stud milo and um use him so i'm really excited and i guess i'll see you guys soon when we start progesterone testing good morning it is friday the 7th of january um hazel went into heat on tuesday we went and got her progesterone tested yesterday and she was at a 0.3, so she's too low to breed. Um, we've picked out the stud and we'll probably end up going next week, but we're going to take her progesterone test, take her to the vet to do progesterone test tomorrow as well. Um, I'm excited for puppies. This is going to be Hazel's last litter and it's kind of emotional because like she's our foundation dog like she's the one who started the whole program but she is just amazing and it's her time um her time to retire after this litter but i'm so excited for her and for her last litter even though it's so emotional but it's gonna be a good one so today is Wednesday, the next week, and we took Hazel to get her progesterone test done yesterday, and she was a 0.73, and they normally recommend to breed around 5 or 6, because that's when they've ovulated, um, and she's like flagging and stuff, so I'm a little worried, but that it's getting close, but numbers can also jump overnight, so that's where we're at currently and hopefully this will happen soon and we'll be breeding her soon. Okay, so we went to take Hazel progesterone test and her um, levels were high enough and they told us to go breed her. So we're going to get her ready for 
her date and give her a nice bath and just get her all nice and clean before we take her. I'll grow up a little bit. I don't have a ton of time to do that tonight, but um, yeah, don't mind my eyes. They're a little red because it's been a long day. <laughs> morning we are getting gas hazel hey <laughs> um we are on our way to the studs house and i'm super excited because we are going to be using milo from the good pup doodles he used to be bountiful doodles and julia who owns that is awesome so we're super excited huh hazel hazel huh it's been a crazy morning but we're getting there, we're about 45 minutes away, and yeah, we we took Hazel to get her progesterone test, and on Friday she was a 2.8, and so they're like, she'll probably ovulate Sunday, so I would take her Monday, so that's what we're doing, it's been a crazy wait, and it's been, I've been so impatient, I'm not patient, so it's been hard for me, but here we are headed down. I'm super excited for this litter and Hazel is more than ready and she's relaxing before. <laughs> we will see you guys in a minute. How was it Hazel? <laughs> That's it? You won't look at me? Hazel! <laughs> Come here! Come here, Hazel. It's been a good day for Hazel, huh? It's been a good day for you. Gonna have some puppies in here? Some puppies? Huh? Some puppies? So it is now a couple days later, and we took Hazel down a second time to use Milo. Normally when you use outside studs, they let you come down um, at least twice, sometimes three times just to rebreed and make sure that, um, you know, she gets pregnant. And we drove down again and it's about an hour and a half drive for us. So we just drove down, took care of stuff and then came back. So I didn't really get much video footage from that. Um, I'm super excited for this litter. If you have any interest, I will link our application down below to make sure to fill that out. These puppies will be due around March 20th and go home in May and I think this genetic combination of the two of them is going to be wonderful and once again I'm really excited. Um, I'm sorry the video was a little boring today but the next one will be better and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and we'll see you guys soon.